What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today I'm back in Shadowgun Legends and we're talking about and teaching you how to level up fast to take advantage of what is to come at level 20 plus 5. So the first question you guys may be asking is, why do I want to level up fast in Shadowgun Legends? What's the benefit? Why don't I just take my time and enjoy the game for what it is? And I'll tell you this, I'm kind of on the fence about it, guys. I am taking my time in the game, enjoying all the aspects of it. But as you can see, up above, I'm currently a level 19 in the game. Now, why is 20 plus 5 so important? And then I'm going to show you guys how to get there quick. First of all, it's important because at level 20, that's your max level currently, these things all can change with updates that are coming in the game. And plus 5, that's 20 plus 5, allows you to get max level gear and loot, giving you the highest critical damage in the game. So basically, when you're at 20 plus 5, you will be as strong as you could possibly be in the game. So when you go in all the PvP stuff... You're ready to battle, you're ready to do a good job, and you have a better chance of being victorious because you are up there with the big boys, strong enough to get some work done. Now, how do you get there quick? That's the question, because we have all these things available to us over here. And I've talked about it in another video, because as you guys know, I come out with Shadowgun Legends videos every day for you. At this point in time, mostly guides, teaching new players how to improve, how the game works, and basically what it's all about. It's going to expand into more competitive play as I progress through the game and get to those points. But you're going to notice, on the map right here, we have different color events that we could take part in, or missions. So, first of all, you have your... You have, let's go to this blue one right here first. These are your operations. Operations offer you the least amount of experience and the least amount of fame. So if you're looking to upgrade fast, these missions, these operations are probably the last things that you want to do. They offer you the least reward, but they are often the quickest ones to get through as well. Then you move up to your side missions. These ones are always purple. These ones are right in the middle. They give you a lot more experience, a lot more fame, and usually there's some type of a reward, a weapon, as you can see, a box right here. And, uh, and these, these could be quite a bit longer. They can take you more time to get through, but again, they're still not the best way to get experience as fast as possible. Now, if I go over here, we're going to look at a primary mission a campaign mission campaign missions are going to offer you the most experience the most fame and probably some of the best loot as well although this video is not about loot it's about ex getting ex xp fast so right here you'll see 9,000 experience for an 11,000 fame to get through this one but I need to be ranked level 20 and as of right now I'm only level 19 so I can't do this one right now so if I take a look at my map I just turned level 19. The best thing for me to do would be one of the purple ones that are available. So why don't I get into one of those right now, try and gain as much loot as possible or as much experience as possible and kind of have some fun while I'm doing it. So we're going to launch into this right here. I believe I'm jumping in here with a submachine gun, which I actually have been really enjoying using and a 100 clip capacity machine gun as my secondary, and then a pistol, obviously that's decent, Let's which I don't rock. use much, but I have been loving the gameplay with the submachine gun. It's definitely fast gameplay, and uh, allows you to run around a little bit faster, and you know, it's just, it's just a lot quicker than you would see from using an assault rifle. So this gun shoots super fast, it reloads fast, it's just very quick, and I, and I like playing like that. And we have a bunch of these on the ground right here. We're going to let them explode away from me. I don't want them exploding anywhere near me. So like I said, this is a whole bunch of these uh, exploding beasts right here. Like I said, this game, you're going to want to ex gain experience as fast as you can so that if you do want to play the PvP stuff, you have that you have that strength that you need to have to be successful. So I'm going to get up my, uh, my ammo for my secondary weapon. The reason why I like using this one with such a large clip is... You get two, uh, you get two packs of ammo, and you're good to go. You're basically Work, filled up, you and I like that. Now I'm, I'll show you what it's all about right here. We'll pull it out. It just down. basically, you don't ever have to reload this thing. It's got great range. There's a nice ribbon right there. You're gonna also want to get as many ribbons as you can during the missions, so that you can 
get more XP, get more fame if you're trying to do a little bit of fame. Uh, look at it. It's all about these exploding little guys right here. I don't even remember what they're called. The spiders? There we go. We got a weapon right here. I'll take that. Let's get out of here. Get out of my way, sir. Thank you. Got the pigeons up here. Fly away. All right. Hopefully there's not too many puzzles in this. I sometimes take a while on the puzzles. We're gonna go, and we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun here, guys. All right, what do we have here in the locker? What is this? Ooh, gear. I'm gonna have to infiltrate, put on that gear. I'm in the hazmat suit. All right, this is the first time I'm actually featuring some hazmat suit gameplay here in the channel. That means I'm going into an, a, a toxic area. Destroy the toxic breeders, and that's the, that's these things right here, I believe. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm okay in this suit. It looks like I'm only going to be dealing with these exploding spidery things right here. Oh, there we go. I'll take that. The good thing is my turret would do very well in this mission right here. Now let's find there's a breeder right there. Take that down. We gotta take down nine of them. That's two. That's three. I'm gonna reload. And over here, there's someone right behind me. There was some ammo over here, which I'm gonna go grab. Fill up again. Look at how fast that weapon shoots. I really do love it, guys. Alright, I guess I don't have what I thought I had, so we could go one of two ways. Let's go this way. This way probably has a puzzle for me. Let's find out. Yeah, there is, but we're gonna get it done really quick, so I will focus try and get this done they're really not that difficult which is good because I'm not big into puzzles in games to be honest with you guys oh and this is where you get a nice loot grab right here what's in this box there we go yeah it looks like I picked up myself a nice assault rifle going through right now something oh I hit the fire on that my bad my bad all right, here we go. We're going in again. I think I'm going to drop my turret right here. Allow it to do a little bit of work. Assist me. Here they all come. We're going to keep them at bay. Turret helped out quite a bit right there. We're going to take down these breeders right here. One. Two. Will it take it all the way down? Nope. I need to reload. While my turret's up, I figure I'll have as many enemies come at me so that my turret can help me out. But it looks like nothing else is coming. No more breeders. Looks like we have to get three more down. I don't know if that'll be the end of the mission, but we will see. Okay, what do we have around this corner? Anything secret? Nope, nothing that we need. Now, my my turret, or my sentry gun, as they call it here in Shadowgun Legends, has a little bit of time before I... Oh, we got a whole bunch coming over here. It's funny. This is my first mission ever just dealing with these guys right here, not any other enemy. And to be honest with you, they're pretty easy to take down. There's one. Two. This should be the ninth breeder right here. Is that going to be the end of the mission? Well, I have to clear something out. Let's see what the mission reads next. Find the elevator to get outside. All right, is it going to show me where the elevator is? It sure is. Here we go. Looks like I got another. Just to smack this one open right here. There we go. Let's go. We're going to get outside. There may be some troops to deal with out here. If there are, I do have my larger weapon, which is great. I could deal with a, a large mass of them, but nope. That's the end of the mission. That's good quick XP there, guys. I didn't really rush through, the, uh, through it. I kind of searched around a little bit. I got some great loot. I got some good fame out of it as well. Let's see if it, how far it gets me in my ranking up towards level 20. Pretty soon, guys, you're going to see me at level 20, and that's going to be an exciting time right here in Shadowgun Legends. So hopefully you're around and checking my videos every day so you get there. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications because I want you guys here with me playing Shadowgun Legends. If you haven't downloaded it, you definitely should. The update's coming on Wednesday with a whole bunch more uh, changes to the game, improvements to the game. And for some of you guys that when you go to download it and it says that you don't have the ability... They are fixing that, and there is going to be the ability for people with lower-end devices to play this game as well. Let's go to, turn in right here to Slade, so I'm going to turn in my mission. Now, if you are going fast and you want to grind these out, you know what you should do? 
bam, right back to the map, get into another mission. But me, I like to always turn in. I'm not as in as much of a rush as some of you may be. So I'm going to go here to Slade, turn in, rather than mass turning in all of my missions at one time. So here we go, getting that fame, getting that XP. You're going to see my XP bar move up a little bit. And let's check out what's in this box. We're going to unlock it right here. What's in the chest? It's going to be cosmetic, I would assume. It is dirty blue color. We don't need that right now. But let's see, what else did I pick up? I picked up a sh uncommon shoulders. And I, also, and I have rare shoulders there. Uncommon shoulders here. These uncommon shoulders are a lot stronger. I should probably equip it. Let's do that. But my wolf pack sticker is on here. So I have to take that off. Click on the wolf pack sticker. Click on the new shoulder pads. Apply. And what else do I have here? I have a uncommon auto rifle. Is it as good as my rare auto rifle, though? Mm, it looks like it's a bit better. I'm going to probably have to swap that. And we have another plasma. Oh, that's a shotgun. We have a common shotgun, my uncommon shotgun. All right, let's go sell some stuff right now, guys. We're going to come over here, and I am going to see what I can get from Big Red for my shoulder pad. Whoa, those are worth a lot right there. Makes me think maybe I should hold on to them. Let's actually swap them and see what the rare ones are worth. We're going to unequip, and we're going to do this now. Now we're going to take a look and, and try and sell both of them. See what they actually are valued at. So these ones, my rares, are 162 coin, and this one 100 and... No, that's wrong. 2,800. This one's 941. Hmm, you know what? I'm going to sell the new ones that I just got. But I first have to go in here and take off that sticker. That's so important to me. We want that Wolfpack sticker. I'm going to equip this. I'm going to put the sticker back on it right here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Look at me messing things up right here with you guys. I'm going to go here. We're going to apply it. There we go. Now I can go to Big Red. I could talk to the man. I could sell what I need to sell. And we can move on. So I'm going to sell these shoulder pads, get some loot, sell this paint, which is worth absolutely nothing, really. And uh, and that's it. I'll go over here at some point in time, and I will sell some weapons. But for now, guys, those are my tips on how to rank up fast here in Shadowgun Legends. Jump into those missions, get the highest ones, the ones that offer you the most XP first. Come back to the hub because you can't bypass the hub. You'll come back every single time. And then jump into another mission right away. Make sure you have a little space in your inventory because you don't want to miss out on gaining some loot. But that's been it for today, guys. I hope you found this useful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, throw a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking of Shadowgun Legends. If you want to add me in-game, you can. You'll see up above right there. Echo through me in-game. Throw me an ad. I'll see you guys all back here again tomorrow. Until then, well, first of all, remember to follow me on Twitter and Discord. But until then, be good.